All right, let's talk about one of the most useful and powerful pivot table tools, analyzing your data using value calculations. Now, in a nutshell, value calculations allow you to display underlying raw values from all sorts of different angles. So instead of just displaying a standard sum or count of or average, you can show those value-based fields in very interesting ways, like the percent of a given column or row or the percent of a given parent category. You can show values as the difference from or percent difference from a given base item. So that's great for things like month over month or year over year changes. You can calculate running totals, which displays those values as a cumulative total within a given base field. Or you can show those as ranks, which just like it sounds, doesn't show the actual volume, but it shows the rank of that volume based on low to high or high to low rules. Now keep in mind this isn't a comprehensive list, there are additional options as well, but basically what this is going to allow us to do is show something like this, where we're looking at gross revenue totals by month, in this case month 1 through 9, but instead of just stopping there, we can actually right click those revenue totals or create a duplicate copy and show those values in different ways. So here are some of the options we talked about, the percent of grand total, percent of row, percent of parent, difference from, running total, and so on and so forth. So here you can select one of these options like running total in, for instance, and select a base field of release month, which is in column A. And what that does is display those revenues as a cumulative running total month over month over month. Now, a couple quick things to note here. Uh, number one, a quick tip. I'd recommend dragging in multiple copies of the field you're looking to analyze so that you can keep an original like we're doing here and compare it against these value calculation versions of that field. And second note here, keep in mind you're not actually changing the values themselves. The core underlying raw values are not changing. All we're doing is changing the way those values get displayed within our pivot table and only within our pivot table. So common use cases here, uh, one is analyzing time series data as a running total by day, month, or year, or calculating time series trends like month over month, year over year, quarter over quarter, etc. Second common use case, exploring the composition of your values in terms of the percent share by things like category, month, year, etc. So what we're going to do is jump into Excel and we're going to take a look at some Olympic medal data and practice analyzing and exploring that data using these types of value calculations. All right, so head to your pro tip workbook. We're in the pivot table tip section here, and we're going to drill into the value calculations demo, link straight out to that sheet. And what we're looking at here is data from six different Olympic games. We've got winter 2006 through the summer 2016 games. And in this case, we're looking at the medal count for gold, silver, and bronze medals for the United States specifically. So these values you see in column B, these are kind of uncalculated, just the basic count of medals uh, based on each of these years. We can see that the US won 992 total medals overall during this period. But what if we want to enhance this view a little bit, analyze these medal counts in some different types of ways to kind of add a bit more context or learn a little bit more about what's going on here? Well, the best way to do that is with calculated values. But before I just right click and show values in different types of ways, which would overwrite these original uncalculated values in column B, what I'm gonna do is just head to my field list, grab that metal field, and I'm gonna pull in four more duplicate copies of that column. So I've got count of metal, count of metal two, three, four, and five, all of which is currently displaying that same raw count. Now the first question that I might want to answer is, I know the US won 992 total medals, but show me how that total breaks down for each of these six Olympic games. And if I want to show that as a percentage or a composition of medal counts, I can right click this second iteration, column C, and let's show these values as the percent of the column total. Now you see that grand total row add up to 100%, and that 100% is broken down by each of the six row labels. So we can see that in 2008, 
the United States won 31% of all of the medals that it earned in this entire sample, compared to 2006, where it only won 4.84%. And instead of keeping the header something that's very confusing, like count of medal 2, you can actually just click into the formula bar and give this a custom title, like percent of column in this case. And now for column D, this count of metal three, let's say we want to tell a similar story, but instead of showing the percentage one each year, I'd like to rank out these years based on the volume of metals. So for something like that, it's as simple as show values as a rank. And because a large number is a good thing in this case, we want to rank largest to smallest. And our base field here in which we're ranking is based on the years. So press OK. And the same story kind of comes to the surface. 2008 was the number one ranked Olympic Games in this sample for the US. We won 309 medals. And on the flip side, 2006 was the lowest medal count, which is the sixth ranked year. And same story here. We can change our header to something like rank. And now what if we don't really care about uh, the medals won each individual year? All we care about in this particular case is the total and how that total is changing over time. Well, for something like that, the running total calculation is a great option. So we can show these values as a running total. We can also use percent running total, which just adds to 100%. Let's go ahead and do just the plain running total in. And our base field, again, is our row labels, our years. Press OK. And now 2006 shows the 48 medals. 2008, we add 309 to the 48. 2010, we add another 89. And you can see how this total medal count is just growing over time as this cumulative column. So there's a quick running total. We can change that header to running total. And as a final example, now what I really want to understand is how the medal count has changed year over year, or in this case, Olympic game over Olympic games, since it's a two year gap. And what we can do here is use a few different options. We can use either something like the difference from or the percent difference from. So in this case, if you care about percentages, you could choose this option. If you care about the actual count of medals year over year, you could use this first option. So let's go ahead and do this. And now our base field, just like always, is our year row labels. Now we have one other option here as well, which is the base item. And this is the base from which you're calculating that difference. So in this case, we don't always want to calculate our difference against a particular year like 2006 or 2008. We always want to calculate this difference based on the previous item in our row labels. So we're going to select previous here and press OK. And now check this out. It's telling us that in 2008, the United States earned 261 medals more than they did in 2006. But then in 2010, they earned 220 medals fewer than 2008. So this is now showing that pattern of year over year differences in medal counts. So let's go ahead and change that header to difference from. And there you go. So there are additional options here some more complicated ones that I'll cover in other courses, like the index option. But this is a great demo of how some of the more common options can be used to analyze and explore your data in a pivot table in a number of different interesting ways.